session with a client and I want to talk about inner forgiveness okay, in regards to myself. <laughs> and so uh, we were doing the session together and something really traumatic happened to me five years ago and we're not going to get into the ins and outs of that, but it was the most traumatic thing that has ever happened to me in my life and there have been many <laughs> okay and she was going through what I had gone through five years ago which what a blessing for us to be able to transmute and alchemize our own pain to be able to help other people through their experiences because I viscerally experience that and I know how incredibly painful it was and the amount of healing that was around that and to this day <laughs> it is something that I continue to work on uh, and my best piece of advice was finding inner forgiveness because that trauma that happened to me was partly do in because of things that I was doing in life or not doing in life I had so much shame and guilt for years and was berating myself and telling myself how horrible I am and that I was a mess and you know just going down all these rabbit holes and one day I woke up and I said, I can't do this anymore. I cannot talk to myself these ways because it is perpetuating the drama. And I am so much more self-aware, self-actualized. I take steps to take care of myself. And I'm a very different person than I was five years ago. Completely different person. <laughs> and what I was explaining to her was offering that version of myself forgiveness because the reason that we ended up there in the first place is because we didn't have tools and resources. We were never taught how to process our emotions or how to deal with our deep, deep bouts of anxiety and depression. We we're in a lot of relationships that were unhealthy, they were very toxic and sometimes abusive. We were very lost and very confused in life and just felt like a sinking ship. We were doing the absolute best that we could with what we had at those times. And if I were looking at somebody outside of myself and they were telling me what had happened, I would say you need to forgive yourself and so that's what I had to do for me and every single day for years hopefully it doesn't take if you're listening to this that long for you <laughs> if, if you're going through something like this but every single day I told myself I don't hold any ill will towards you I am not you I am a different version I am releasing those energetic cords from the past. Today is a new day. I am a new me. And I had a lot of external people and circumstances that would try and remind me that I was that older version of myself. And I would say, no, that's not me. You have an ideal of who I once was but I am claiming to be a different person now and I am and I'm working towards that every single day and was it kind of a battle in the beginning because those people in circumstances knew me from those times sure but I had to keep reminding myself I am a new person today and I love myself and I love that version of me who was struggling so intensely for all of those years she didn't know any better and she didn't have what she needed and we're here now though <laughs> okay? and what I was saying is inner forgiveness but I was telling her I don't need to forgive you <laughs> I'm not upset with you I'm not angry with you I'm not holding any resent resentment uh, you are a beautiful being of light and we figured it out and now we're here 
and we're good and we're in a new reality and everything's fine <laughs> and it's totally okay that those feelings and those emotions still come up because they do uh even though i've healed through that those memories are still there <laughs> but i respond to them so much differently and it was a beautiful reflection today to be able to talk to somebody about that in a session and I didn't know that I was going to be talking about that and it kind of like came out of the blue but I'm glad that it did because talking to somebody who really understands what you are going through is beneficial I wish that I had had somebody to be like hey I was there too and I made it out on the other side and you're going to be okay and here are some things that you can do to help you through this process but after I got out of the session I realized that it wasn't me that was talking to her it was actually the younger version of me and that was so incredibly healing and I also realized how much I was detached from it now where it didn't bring up these huge emotional or this a huge emotional weight in me to think about it or to talk about it with somebody else. Now, I was very emotional while we were talking about it, but it was more so from a level of understanding like how painful that is to go through an experience. Like from an empathetic level, but it wasn't from a level of self-hatred towards myself or shame and guilt those feelings were gone <laughs> and I just felt so incredibly blessed to have finally reached that level of detachment and saying yep that's not us anymore <laughs> we, are, we are a whole different person and we're making forward movement every single day and so I wanted to come on and share that. I know I'm being very vague about the things, but I asked my younger version if she did want to share about the experiences, and she said no. <laughs> and maybe one day, but today is not the day, and I want to respect that for her. Um, and maybe we never do. And that's okay. Maybe we need to talk about it in sessions individually. Um, I've talked about it with friends that have helped me through it. Um, my tribe members, right? Um, and, I've, and I've talked about it with a few clients before. Uh, but I also want to respect that younger version of me. <laughs> and maybe it's not something that we need to necessarily like divulge in its full totality. Uh, but it is beneficial to find persons that you can talk to because that definitely did help me process through things uh especially when i found people who had been through similar things that was really 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 healing uh, so do recommend that at least okay <laughs> even if it's not sh sharing it like on a public platform <laughs> like here uh so hopefully this resonated letting go of those older identities not getting rid of them but just saying hey we're a new person today, every day. Every day we get to choose who we want to be. And just because other people have these certain um, lenses of perception of us doesn't have anything to do with who we are today. The only reason that their perceptions are hurting us is because we still think we are that person. Well, then we need to disidentify with that and say, nope, I'm the new me today and every day. <laughs> and I love me unconditionally. So I love you and I hope you have a magical day.